A Scott County man is in jail tonight accused of pretending to be a police officer. This is scary. Investigators with the sheriff's office told LAX 18's Evelyn Schultz he used some real world gear during his encounters with strangers, but it was all an act. It's tonight's big story at 530. The investigation all started here at the Veterans Memorial Wildlife Management Area off Rogers Gap Road. The Scott County Sheriff's Office says this is where the suspect disguised himself as a police officer. Detectives say Zachary Trussell used a fake police vest and a very realistic pellet gun. He approached people who were fishing and identified himself as law enforcement. The Sheriff's Office says during one encounter, he even disarmed someone of their gun and patted them down. But when he couldn't provide proper ID, the people he approached knew something was up. Trussell then drove off in this truck. We see all sorts of different things uh, in law enforcement. But, you know, when somebody brandishes a gun like that, everybody's thinking, oh, you know, he could have went anywhere. That's why we're asking the public, if you've ever had any, any, any interaction with this guy, please let us know. The pellet gun here is, this is the one that he actually uh, was wearing um, when, when he was uh, the same light same everything uh, so yeah and then this is this is the gun that we actually carry which is everything and markings and everything on it are exactly the same the only difference uh, that being a pellet gun. Trussell was arrested on Wednesday. He now faces multiple charges, including impersonating a police officer. If you've had a similar interaction with Trussell in Georgetown or somewhere else in Kentucky, the Scott County Sheriff's Office wants to hear from you. In Scott County, Evelyn Schultz, LEX 18 News.